and glad to present our work relating skeleton-based action recognition. In this work, we first propose to use 3D CNN to process skeleton data, and we call this framework PostCon3D. Basically, the framework consists of three steps. First, a top-down post estimator is used for extracting high-quality 2D poses. Second, 2D pose heat maps are stacked along the temporal dimension to generate 3D heat map volumes. Finally, a 3D CNN is adopted to recognize actions. Post extraction is a critical step for skeleton action recognition, whose importance is often overlooked. We focus on 2D poses instead of 3D ones due to the superior quality that is significant in qualitative and quantitative studies. Besides, we also find that action recognition doesn't need perfect post-estimation results as long as action patterns can be revealed. To restore coordinates to pseudo heat maps, for each joint, we generate a Gaussian map centered at the joint location. We then propose two techniques to handle the redundancy. To reduce spatial redundancy, we find the smallest bounding box enclosing all 2D poses, crop frames with the box, and resize them to a target size. By doing so, more information can be reserved within a small spatial size. To reduce the temporal redundancy, we use uniform sampling to replace the commonly used fixed dry sampling. To get an n frame clip, we divide the video into n equal length segments and randomly sample one frame from each. We find the new strategy is especially beneficial for skeleton action recognition. PostCon3D uses an arbitrary 3D CNN to process the heat map volumes, and is much lighter than 3D CNNs for RGB. We illustrate the PostCon3D instantiated with slow only. In 3D CNN adaption, we find two good practices. First, the input should have a small spatial size and a large temporal length. Second, a thinner and shallower network is sufficient for skeleton processing. We further propose RGB post count 3D for the early fusion of human skeletons and RGB frames. It is a 3D CN with two pathways, processing skeleton and RGB respectively. With bi-directional lateral connections, RGB post count 3D significantly outperforms the late fusion baseline. To demonstrate the effectiveness of post count 3D, we conduct extensive experiments on nine different skeleton action recognition benchmarks. We first compare PostCon 3D with our representative GCN approach MSG3D. With fewer flops and a smaller parameter size, PostCon 3D achieves strong performance on multiple benchmarks. Besides, PostCon 3D has several unique advantages. First, it is robust to noises in post estimation and generalizes well across 2D poses from different sources. Second, it scales to multi-person with no extra computation costs. Third, using 3D CNN enables a wide design space for intermodality fusion, benefits action recognition with multiple modalities. Combining the keypoint stream and the limb stream, PostCon 3D achieves a sort of performance on multiple benchmarks. We also achieve strong performance on action recognition based on multiple modalities, and you can check our paper for these results. We summarize the advantages of PostCon 3D. Using 3D CNN, PostCon 3D is of good spatial temporal modeling capability and has unique advantages in robustness scalability, and interoperability. Meanwhile, there still exists some worth exploring directions, which includes extending the framework to 3D skeletons and better architecture design to improve the efficacy and efficiency. PostCon 3D has been released in multiple public code bases, and thanks for your attention.